Tesla is not the only brand working on self-driving cars nowadays. They are the best at consumer level self-driving tech, but there are others who are better at robot taxis like Waymo and autonomous semi-trucks like Too Simple. Let's talk about the latter, the self-driving semi-trucks. I rode in one for about an hour without the steering wheel ever being touched, and that was amazing. So let's talk about it right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. When it comes to the self-driving technology, as much as I love driving, I cannot wait for it to get here. Not only because we're going to save about 40,000 lives each year of people who die in car accidents in the United States alone, but also because I'd rather avoid cursing at people in front of me on the road while I'm driving and concentrate on cursing at people on social media while my car is driving itself. It's just more productive that way. But there is another level of necessity for self-driving technology and it is in trucking. Not only we now want more stuff to be delivered to our houses, so there has to be more delivery trucks on the road, the prices are rising and at the same time, just like anywhere else, there is a high demand for truck drivers and thus a huge shortage of them. The American Trucking Association estimates that even before COVID in the US, there was already a shortage of 60,000 of professional truck drivers and it is not unreasonable to assume that it's twice as bad now. And on top of that, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but truck drivers are people who need to eat and sleep. Yeah. So per regulations, each truck driver can only be on the road for about a third of each day, which means the truck is doing nothing for the rest when it's not at the delivery center, which in return means businesses are charging us more for the goods while taking longer to deliver them. This is why self-driving technology for trucks is way more important for all of us than even our own self-driving cars or robo-taxis. I mean, you may not even want to go out in your fancy self-driving Tesla if your fancy shoes and your fancy iPhone weren't delivered to you on time. And this is where the company you've never heard of before, Too Simple, comes in. They take the regular semi-trucks and retrofit them into self-driving trucks. And they are no joke. They have already become the very first autonomous driving company to go public, which they did back in 2021, with an impressive list of investors, which includes Volkswagen's Trayton Group, NVIDIA and UPS. By the end of last year, they became the very first company to have its fully autonomous semi-truck make an 80-mile test delivery run with not only no human interaction, but no human in the truck at all. They call these driver out trips and look at that, an empty seat. And it wasn't on a closed course or a test track, it was on a public road. That's right, while we were all geeking out over Tesla's parking themselves, Too Simple has been developing and testing their technology for years. And not in a lab, not on a closed course, not even for themselves. They have actually been hauling freight for no other than UPS since 2019 and racked up over 160,000 autonomous miles. That's more than six trips around the earth, which I guess explains why it takes my UPS driver forever to get to my house, especially when I'm almost out of my good shampoo. But how did they get there? Well, no one better to answer than Too Simple's executive advisor, Cheng Lu. Well, you know, a lot of companies tried this. Uh, you guys succeeded. What is it about your approach that uh, sets you guys apart and put in front of everybody else? Yeah, great question. It's a big, big question. Uh, one, I think we've been very focused on focusing on the, the trucking market. It's so developing the most advanced solution just for Class A trucks. Two is our, our technology is cutting edge. It's a one of a kind. Uh, that's a tribute to our, our, our founding technology team. Uh, and three is we have great partnerships. Now, you know, if you look at this wall over there, there's downstream partners, upstream partners, but all of these together enables us to uh, advance this technology and this solution. Since then, they have already completed six more successful fully autonomous runs. 
now with over 550 in total miles covered on public roads. And just a few weeks ago, they have announced the very first real world customer to move freight using two symbols, a driver out technology on the public roads. And not just any customer, it is Union Pacific, the largest class one railroad company in the country. I have traveled to Two Simples Development Center in Tucson, Arizona to see it for myself. Now, I was a bit skeptical to get into one of those trucks and see if it can actually drive for an hour to a destination and back with no driver interaction, but that's exactly what happened. Because the truck's sensor and vision system is much better than humans, our truck was able to be more aggressive and sure of itself to change lanes when it felt like the merging traffic will slow it down and it will lose valuable time and fuel and it was also able to make very tight turns at the intersections without riding the curbs which is not even that easy for professional drivers who aren't looking at their phones texting their girlfriends. But why concentrate on such a boring industry as trucking? when you can be on Twitter talking about sleeping in the driver's seat or watching a movie. What are the business advantages? While the technology is different, the use case makes a lot of sense, right? So one, there's a driver shortage. Driver labor costs are very high. Uh, two is it's fixed routes. Now, if you think about the US, five interstates cover like 90% of all the freight volume. So if you can automate this one particular highway, you have a very big business. And now they are at the final step of completely removing the human factor from the trips. That means that not only trucks can be in operation longer, since they are no longer limited by drivers who get tired, not only they will cause way less accidents because the self-driving chip does not need to be on social media or text his girlfriend while driving, but also, two simple self-driving technology makes each truck at least 10% more fuel efficient. And the same energy savings are most likely to happen when they will be able to retrofit the electric trucks once those start coming on the market. Interestingly enough, even though Two Simple's hardware suite includes LIDARs and radars, their primary sensor technology is vision. As you can probably imagine, because of the truck's weight and thus much longer braking distance, it is much more important to make sure that the system sees much further than the one of a regular passenger vehicle. For now, I will keep my eye on this company and will continue to keep you guys updated on its progress and the progress in self-driving technology in general. All right, I am looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.